Supernumerary teeth, extra teeth. So it, this is not uncommon as well. We doesn't mean that they are a problem. Um, we just note them and then sometimes we'll investigate them as well. So instead of having six incisors, this horse was extra lucky and had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven incisors. Uh, here's another horse that forgot to erupt one of its baby baby teeth, so that was an interesting one. Geriatrics, one of my favourite groups, and horses are the only pets that we ever buy and sell. People generally don't buy and sell dogs, they don't buy and sell cats and other you know, pocket pets and things like that, but horses uh, will often cycle through many, many owners in their lifetime. And it really is one of my great privileges to be able to treat these geriatrics after a lifetime of service to humans. So we'll often hear people say, oh, my old horse doesn't need dentistry, he hasn't got any teeth left, or he hasn't got many teeth left. In my opinion, this is the group of horses that both need and deserve good quality dentistry after serving us for their lifetime. So old horses or geriatrics will often wear away the structure of their teeth. And once they wear away all the enamel and you just have dentine and cementum left, um, they can get very squeaky. So when these guys eat, you, you can often hear them go squeak, squeak, squeak. Um, and uh, what will also happen is you can see here, this guy has a single sharp enamel point that's actually digging a hole into this horse's tongue. The owner told me that this horse didn't need dentistry because he didn't have very many teeth left. And yes, he was missing some teeth, but can you just imagine how painful this was? And this was easily treated once we were able to diagnose it and, and then treat it. Um, here is a close-up of that tongue with a great big hole in it from this massive sharp enamel point. So, you know, poor old fella, but we, um, we were able to help him that day. These are some post-mortem photos of some old horses. So um, these are teeth that are, I guess, expired or at the end of their lifetime. So the hypsodont tooth has continued to erupt. They will wear away, first of all, all their um, enamel. And enamel is the hardest substance. So once that is gone, the tooth will continue to wear away to nubs very, very quickly. So we've got some fractures here. Um, these are not, not, ne not necessarily um, a problem at the age of, of this horse, but definitely um, the periodontal disease surrounding here would have been quite painful for this guy. So again here, we these are actually the roots of the tooth that are now erupting into the mouth. This is not a problem, but if there's disease associated with it, then, then there is a problem. Botfly larva, okay. So if you're eating right now, maybe have a look away. These are botfly larva. So this is when the horse will lick the botfly eggs, usually off the legs. They migrate into the mouth, they get swallowed. They'll then um, hatch and crawl, crawl their way back up into the mouth and then they burrow between the teeth. So we see, we find these in horses' mouths. So, um, I actually do remember that they, this owner had to excuse themselves to go and vomit because it was so disgusted and disgusting and she was so disgusted that these were in her horse's mouth. Um, again, easily treated with a botticide uh, dewormer and also picking these bots out between the horse's teeth.